If I start counting in numbers, I'm gonna forget where I am. So let's just not do that. Hello, I'm over this. This is by far the most disorganized video I've ever filmed ever. And the reason being is because Christmas is right around the jolly corner. And here I am trying to plan all of these other videos. There's just a bunch of other things that were supposed to be in place and everything was going smoothly. And then I realized I forgot to film this one. And this one's the most important one because it has to be up before Christmas, but I'm still late because it's really close. So if you're last minute shopping, this video is for you, I'm sorry. But you know what, if you have Amazon Prime, Amazon delivers fast. I have quite a few ideas on Amazon, so I think I'm still helping. Uh, at least that's what I'm gonna tell myself, okay. We're just gonna get right into it because there's a lot of items that I've either written down or I'm thinking about. So let's, and they're not in order. Like I said, I promise next year. So one thing I want, I don't have this, like a little headband with little bow on it or whatever, they sell them at Walmart. They're literally like bath towel material. When you're washing your face, I feel like that is a crucial. So that's number one. So the next thing would be perfume. I received this last year. To be honest, I suck at picking perfumes. It's the fragrance sampler. Um, and it's a gift for certificate for her or someone in your life. Whether it's your mom, your friend, your sister, your cousin, whatever female scents are very subjective you never know what somebody else is scent is going to be or what they're gonna like so i think that this is just easy it's fun i love it i've actually been deciding between black opium and then i think there's a juicy one i actually love the way that smells too so i'm an indecisive person i still can't decide it's been a year but i promise these are really good gifts i promise let's talk journals i think the five minute journal is such a good gift idea if you know someone who loves to journal i mean or someone who already has the five minute journal get them another one if they write in it every single day when that journal runs out like me i'm gonna want to revamp it or i would even highly suggest just a planner a calendar that over anything is a game changer skincare there are so many out there i love these skincare products i will put some up here i think the tatcha one is one i've always wanted to try i ask for it i think every year i put it on a list somewhere makeup is also something super subjective like don't get a um, lipstick kit with three lipsticks and then one's like the brightest red and then the brightest pink and then like one nude if you know your friend is only gonna like the nude like be thoughtful if you can try and find like a gloss three set or something they have them everywhere now one thing i also really wanted was a telfar bag the mini one this one specifically because they're not that expensive and they're really 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 in and cute and i just love the brand alpha elite leggings okay i've seen them everywhere half the youtubers i follow so live fit she also talks about them i swear every girl talks about these alpha elite leggings and so i no, I already got them for Christmas from a little special someone because someone doesn't know how to keep secrets. Recently, I just got this at Walmart. This is the Real Techniques. Mind you, again, Canada is just so delayed. But Real Techniques isn't a big thing here for a while, but now it's kind of popping off. So, are you kidding me? Am I, like, I didn't even know that this existed. It's a case for your dirty ass beauty sponge that you see in your makeup bag that should not be there floating around. Yeah, that should be in a case that's sanitary. I love, I got it. it comes with a sponge. It's inexpensive. It's so nice. Just makes me feel a little bougie if we're being honest here. I hold my beauty blender in a case. How about you? Sorry, that was rude. Okay, let's talk about candles. Everything that everybody knows and loves, okay? I'm personally a Bath & Body Works fanatic, okay? Bath & Body Works wallflowers, I'm telling you, I have them in every room. Another thing would be their candles. Listen, everyone loves a good candle. If you think Bath & Body Works is too strong for you, because, you know, some people are a little bit more sensitive, Indigo has a bunch of really nice ones. There's so many others I can think of. But who doesn't love a good strong smelling candle anyway like isn't that the point don't candles all have that effect i don't really know so this is so this wasn't actually for me this was a gift for michael's sister that we were supposed to bring to alberta that we forgot with us and this is the scent tree farm so if you know someone who loves a good piney like does smell nice it's just, yeah, it smells like you just cut down your Christmas tree. Like, that's not personally my favorite favorite, 
but I know his sister really likes it and their packaging is so cute. This one, this is a gift for Michael's aunt. It is the sweater what, sweater weather. Ah, sweater weather. It just smells like a mix between like a fresh man who just walked out of the shower and like winter in a candle. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Like, I don't know. Sweater weather, it's a, just a cute one. It smells really good. If I'm not mistaken, the, the soaps, their hand soaps also, they all come in like the same scent in candles. So this one, Holiday Mistletoe, this soap right here smells to die. Same with Snowy Alpine Mountain. It smells like clean, fresh, but still Christmas hint underneath, okay? I really like their soaps. Their soaps are everything. Another thing that is scent related, this is actually from, I can't remember where I got these. I got these in a pack of three. I'm sure it was either uh, Walmart or something of the sort. And this is a hand cream, comes in three. You break them up, you give one to someone and one to someone else. It's hand cream, it's always needed. This size especially, like I save all the ones I get for Christmas or my birthday or something, and then they always stay in my purse. Cause when we go out, you know, when we're shopping for ourselves, we get the big size because we know we're gonna use it at home, but we're not thinking about the road. So this is great. The Bath & Body Works mini hand sanitizers are also really good to put in your purse. It's also COVID, you know, it's perfect gift. Next thing is this Pure Wonder. This is actually a new scent that Bath & Body Works has. So let's talk about Indigo for a second because they literally have everything. This is the mug. This one says the best ant ever. It is super, super, super cute. This is something that my sister actually wanted and we got it for her. It is also from Indigo. Indigo, by the way, has the best things. We got her those reading socks she wanted. She really wanted the reading socks. I don't know why they're so popular. They also have this blanket, which is Pretty much a Snuggie. Do you remember the Snuggies back in the day when everyone used to wear them and it was on their infomercials? I used to watch them as a kid till like two in the morning. Anyway, this is literally that, but in a more sn snuggly, cozy vibe. This is definitely a must have or a weighted blanket. In addition to the candles, this is called the Charmed Aroma and it has a surprise jewel inside. I actually received this as a gift. It is the Peach Sugar Kiss and honestly, it comes with a ring or some type of jewel inside. I don't know if you can pick them. I've actually never been to the store, but I've yet to see what comes inside. What up, y'all? Sorry, I'm just hitting the head. You can also get a phone case or an AirPod case if somebody has them. Now, if you're looking to spend a little bit more money, I would say get someone actual AirPods. A speaker would be really cool if we're thinking electronics, technology, and the JBL ones are so good. Which into the cozy vibes, I would say slippers, a throw blanket, a silk pillowcase. These PJs, where am I going? These are from Amazon. Oh, I actually found this up. It's like a silky material. This is the shirt and the pants, and I think they're so cute, so cozy. I'm really trying to give you the full vibes, okay? I wouldn't mind trying one that has like cotton or polyester, or whatever, like just simple material. A robe, I think a robe is something you don't normally buy yourself. This is something I also really, really want. It's actually an alarm clock that I also found on Amazon. It basically glows. And if you want to try and wake up earlier, this is literally been my goal for the last year. It's not happening. I'm telling myself that this alarm will change that. But basically, it almost rises like a sun. Like, it comes in like a little ball. But it lights up as you're waking up in the morning. I would also highly recommend the Revlon One Step. I have it. I love it. A puffer jacket. So many people have them. If you're looking to spend a little bit more, it's the Aritzia Super Puff Jacket. Another thing I got at... I got at, why do I sound like a robot? This is from Aldo. This is a really cute like side bag, like the little mini size. This is another thing I got as a gift and I really, really liked it and I would buy it for someone else if I know that they like this style. I didn't even know I would like the style until I got it and it, is this, it's from Kate Spade. The only thing I will say is I keep way, way, way too many cards in this middle section and they kind of bend them. It's so crucial, it's so much easier. I used to carry around those big, chunky, square, rectangle wallets. Do you remember those? I'm sure there's still people who use those and I'm sorry if I offended you, but wow. 
we don't carry purses around anymore to fit that size so for your boyfriend your significant other i would say especially if it's your first holiday together or something like that get an ornament i'm going to show you these custom ornaments that i got made for families that i know for aunts and cousins and things that i just think would make something more personal or even a custom stocking with the letters on it thing i have asked for which they're just never they're always sold out it's the nunky nunky <laughs> the nike dunks i would also say really cute toques or hats now if you have a little brother a little sister a cousin who's younger than you i don't know these are really in it's so cute these are like the pop it things i actually use this myself when i'm at work here sometimes i'll just be popping them when i'm super anxious or thinking of getting a kid something this is a ball i also think candle holders are crucial because i feel like a lot of people give candles every year i mean i always do i like to give candles but if you think someone is over it or they mention you know i really don't want any more candles this year then get them a candle holder that is really cute and will go with their home aesthetic charging like a standing charger that holds your airpods your phone and it also charges your apple watch a really thoughtful gift that i'm doing this year for people is getting someone that you're close with if you have photos together Get them a photo and put it in a frame and give it to them. That is just probably one of the most thoughtful things. I love receiving those types of gifts and to give them is even more heartwarming because it means something to both of you. Thinking about getting someone a chapstick or something, get the Burt's Bees. These are honestly always a, a good thing. Like, don't get the tinted ones, okay? Those are not the vibe. Don't get anyone the tinted ones. I don't care. So I want to get matching sweaters with Michael or like if you and your partner, you and your sister, something like that, you want to get matching sweaters, get that for the both of you. And then if you have something inside jokes that you both like or a color you both like, get something matching. I'm doing hoodies. Okay, so I they don't sell them anywhere. So I had to get the actual, he's sitting right here, by the way, which is why I can't say that loud. So I actually found this person on Etsy who makes custom peaches. And I'm going to, they're like an iron on thing. So I'm gonna get two matching sweaters and then iron them on and then we can match with that. Also super inexpensive, super cute. If you can find them already made, get them already made. It saves you a lot of time, just saying. Grandfathers, dads, men in your life that, you know, you don't know what to get them. It's so typical to say a watch or a cologne. In Mike's family, we're gonna get his grandfather uh, one of his favorite cognacs because he likes to drink that. And if there's no alcohol that flows in your life, like my side of the family, I come from a family with a lot of drug and alcohol abuse in the past. So if you're not trying to go that route, because that's not for everyone, press a machine if you're thinking of spending a little bit more or even the cafetiera, which looks like this. A little less expensive. You can get them in multiple sizes. If you think they need a different size, if they already have one, just pair it with like coffee. And that's, how could you ask for anything more? A milk frother. Oh my gosh, get someone a milk frother, okay? You never know who's going to need that. Get that for your mom, your aunt. It is such a cute gift idea paired with a mug like to make a coffee you do something where you can make a little set and it's just so much more affordable you can get someone an extra controller if they are a gamer or something i'm sure an extra controller is something that guys like i'm pretty sure right yeah yeah see or a headset like he's wearing one right now peach come here this is cheap though this is a cheaper one oh don't fall this is cheap <laughs> yeah that's like a headset that's good for them that they play like he can talk to his friends on it keeps my ears nice and pretty i don't have to hear the bullshit for your mom for your females in your life get them either a certificate to their nail salon so that their next nail appointment mani pedi is covered like that is so appreciated 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 that is so appreciated okay yes. do you like a full spa day i think mike and i are thinking of getting that for his mom anyway that is all we've gone through everything i think I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. You better like this. I just gave you so much free information. Comment what you want for Christmas slash what you're giving other people. I would like to know. Subscribe. Follow me on my 
other socials if you want. I post a little bit more personal things on there that you'll see on a dailies. Yeah, that's it, that's all.